Hi everyone, in this video today I'm going to show you how to open up a PDF that has been security locked in terms of time. So I have the file here, I'm just going to double click and you may get something like this, a green screen that it doesn't allow you to look at any of the content. Now the reason being is if you've downloaded this somewhere from the internet, is a security feature that you can put on PDFs is a date feature so you might download it on a certain date and the person who's created it's locked it to only to expire on a certain time which means that you get that green screen. So wherever your files located, if you haven't got a view similar to this, just click on view and then go to details. Another way you can do this too is select your file and just right click and go to properties and here it'll tell you the date this was created and modified. So in this case, I'm going to look at the modified date because the created date is going to be incorrect because of I've copied this file from its original location to here. So today it was actually created today in this folder, but I actually downloaded it on the 7th of March of this year. So what we need to do, let's cancel out of there, is to remind ourselves of that date because we're going to change the date on our windows. Another way you can do this too with this view is just to right click up here and make sure date modified is selected which we have here as well. So another way to get the date. So then we're going to go down to the clock. We're going to right click on the clock and then we're going to go up to adjust date and time and then left click and you'll see here the time has been set automatically. Let's turn that off and then we're going to go here and click on change and then we're going to change the date to the 7th of March 2018 as the date we looked at before. Now click on change. Now leave this open for a moment and I'm going to just double click on the file. Now as you can see we've actually opened the file now we don't have the green screen at all. At this stage you could just stop here if you wanted to if you just wanted to access the file one time but if you wanted to make this a permanent thing so you can just open this without having to change the clock every time what we're going to need to do is download another PDF printing driver. I've tried a few and there's one that I found that actually worked pretty well. So the website is freepdfcreator.org and I simply just clicked on the free download. I've already downloaded this so it's going to ask me if you want to overwrite this file. I was going to click on save. So I was going to click yes. So wherever your download area is on your computer for your uh, web browser where it's downloading the files, go to there and you want to open up the solid PDF creator file. So I'll just left click on that. I'm probably not going to run the whole thing because I've already installed it. It'll probably want to uninstall it. Well, it's uninstalling anyway. So <laughs> it didn't even give me an option. So we'll just wait for that. So try to uninstall, now it's reinstalling. On this screen, just ask you for standard installation or custom. The only difference I can tell between the two is where it's going to save it on your computer. So I think in most cases, most people will be happy with just leave it in standalone, or standard, sorry. And then we're just going to tick this box here and then click on next. And now it's just installing the program. And then we'll click on finish. Now let's go back to our PDF. So this is the one that's we were able to get into by changing the date. So what we need to do now uh, is go down to properties, click on file then properties. Let's go to the security tab and we'll just make sure there's no security on there and then just click OK and click OK again. I'm not sure that step's absolutely crucial but I'll do it anyway. Let's go back to file then print and from the drop down box for the printers we want to click on the one we just installed called Solid PDF Creator. And all of this should be pretty much okay to believe it as it is. And now we're going to click on Print. And I'm going to put one here and call it Unlocked. And then click on Create. And then click OK. 
I can move this up to the side. Now, I have quite a large file here. I think it's about 205 or 208 pages. So it takes a little while for a large file like that. And I think it's because my document's not just text, but there's a lot of images inside of the document too. So I'm just going to pause that so we don't have to sit here and be bored. Okay, it's finally finished. So once it's finished, it actually opens up the file in its own new window. So we can see here, unlocked. So what we need to do now is change our clock back. So go back down to the clock, right click, go to adjust date and time, and then we'll left click on set time automatically. So we'll come back to today's date. Now we can close this window and we can close the original one as well. I'm not going to save that, no. Close and I'm going to go to the folder. So just to see how it works, we'll double click on the original one now that our time has been changed again. So there's the original one with the green screen. Let's close that. And this is the new one. So we'll double click on that. And there we go. There's our file. And we can use that however we like now. And this is even with the date change back to today's date.